Welcome to the east bank of Station Camp Creek. When the long hunters first came to this area in 1765, they found that this was the home of the bison. Hello Station Camp, today is April 12th, I'm James Laws. And I'm Charles Peake, here to bring you lots of news on today's show. The Winter Guard had a great season this time around, more on that later. Also, track is on its way to the finish line. All this and more on SCTV. Senior campout is today at the football field, starting from 8 p.m. and going till sunrise tomorrow morning. Don't forget to bring a tent. Student Council had a huge weekend at the state convention last week, winning a multitude of accolades and awards. Sarah Lemon was even elected the task state vice president. Seniors need to complete their senior awards survey by April 18th. If they do not complete it by the deadline, they will not be included in the award ceremony. <sighs> I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Well, you should go to lunch then. <sighs> Mr. Hart was seen there. Oh, that guy from 9 to 5? Yeah. I think we actually have some live footage of him while he's down there. I don't know. Let's cut to that! Division Station Camp, this is Franklin Hart Jr. coming at your service. I've been charged with showing you around Consolidated, so shut up and sit down while I'm talking to you and try and make this through. This is Jordan Beatty, one of our seniors who decided for 9-5. I don't care, nobody else does. Blair is in charge of our makeup department, which basically means she puts pencils on people and puts hair products in people's hair. Uh, uh, come on! Come on! Come on! This is Cammie Klein in her natural habitat. No, she has no friends, no life, no job. The only thing smaller than a vocal range is her brain. Hey, I'm the lead of the show! River has the easy task of getting props together, but, um, well, this is new. Fired. Rio and Willard in charge of our set design. And, uh... Oh, hey guys. There's no way that this is productive. No, I'm, I'm cutting this piece of wood. Oh. Isabel's been in charge of Koyo for the past few years now. It's kind of odd for women to be in charge of Koyo. But That's yeah. a little sexist. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm not sexist. Being sexist is wrong. Being wrong is for women. Make your way back into the classroom. You can see Nesta trying his very best to make all these dummies look at all appealing. Trust me, they need a lot of work. But my legs were too long. Every day is leg day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thighs, calves, all the- Oh God, what have I done? So now you've seen the idiots involved in the production of 9 to 5, but in case you couldn't get that through your thick skull, allow me to clear it out for you. Come see 9 to 5, April 18th, 19th, and 21st. That's an order. Frank and Hart. This past Monday, the baseball team faced off against Watertown, with Carter Casabella throwing a no-hitter with eight strikeouts, Noah Rice going two for two with an RBI, and Noah Jenkins going two for three with three RBIs. They beat Watertown 7-0 and are now 4-0 in the district. They will be playing Greenbrier on Monday. Our Station Camp Winter Guard wrapped up their season at the SCGC Championships in Western Kentucky last weekend. Congratulations on the great season. The Sumner County Track Championships are wrapping up today at Liberty Creek High School. Go out and support our runners, jumpers, and throwers as they strive to take home the gold. You know, when I get the chance, I'm going to the FFA plant sale. Oh, you want to buy some plants? <laughs> no, I'm going for the fries. Oh, well, enjoy, I guess. Well, that's all for now. For more news, updates, and information, check out the Station Camp website or the Herd newspaper. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any Station Camp news or exciting videos from our crew here at SCTV. Thank you so much for watching this edition of SCTV. We'll see you next time.